Good day. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Hand Waving. Another episode of ZX Spectrum Gameplay. Now then, how's my audio? I think we're okay. Let me um, bounce over to my Mr. FPGA where the screen is waiting for me to press enter. Oh, that was quick. We hardly got to see the loading screen. Anyway, Mr. Wimpy is the game I've loaded up here. Um, Kempston, Protex Sinclair. I think Kempston was the joystick that was most commonly used. There we go. So, I watched my buddy Steve play this a while back. I don't know exactly how long ago it was. And I believe the idea here is to uh, nip across the old screen here and not do that. Well, that's no good. Uh, avoid the blue guy and the golden rings and um, pick up the ingredient. What the hell? I didn't think he'd be able to run in there and steal my my ingredient. Um, anyway, to run to bring the increed in the incredible ingredients. Bring the ingredients across to the other side of the screen here. Oh, for poop's sake. This is not going very well. Anyway, so this is actually, believe it or not, at this point you won't believe it, uh, a Burger Time game. And I think that's where Wimpy comes from, the name Wimpy. There we go. I got the, I'm going to say cheese across. No, not cheese. Tomato, maybe. Yeah, probably tomato. Because the cheese obviously is at the top there. Nice wedge of Swiss looking cheese there. And this would be the banana that goes in the burger. Ob ah, shit. Obviously it's the banana. Um, looks like the blue guy can't actually damage the... Oh, for crying out loud. Can't actually damage the player. Me. You can just steal the tray, it looks like. All right, this is the banana. Uh, maybe, or pickle, I don't know. And there's no indication of what I brought, shit, uh, come on. Of what I have brought across, except the fact that there's only one thing on the, on the far side there at the moment. Okay. Ah, 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 there's the cheese, and he stole the cheese and the tray. Thanks, you jerk face. Okay, I guess you don't have to worry about dodging Mr. Bluey. <sighs> Just the rings. Uh, only dodge bluey when you're traveling with an ingredient or a tray for an ingredient. Ah, you... What the hell? <laughs> That's super annoying. All right. Cheese, I got the cheese. And I lost the cheese because I didn't... <laughs> Turn around. No bonus. Durr, obviously. Since it's taken me eight minutes to get all the... Go away. Taken me eight minutes to get this far. And I'm not that far, to be honest. Okay. Go. Get the... Get the away. Hey. We were rewarded with some sound. Okay, here we go. Now then, can we... Uh, I wonder what the button is. I mean, button should be pepper, but... Oh, they don't move like the Burger Time enemies. That's for sure. Can I... Can I drop one? Come and chase me, Mr. Sausage. No? Okay, you can smush them. You can't... Oh, they don't drop. All right, well, so be it. That's another... Oh, crap. I did not mean to go back up that ladder. Okay, at least I found the pepper button. It looks like it lingers. It, the pepper hangs in the air. You can't drop the ingredients. Or, sorry, you, you can't drop... Yeah, no. Sorry, what am I trying to say? You cannot drop the baddies on top of 
along with the ingredients like you can in the normal game, the arcade version and most conversions. But it's fast and... oh, oh, whoops. Oh, for Pete's sake, I was trying to go left, not... The random movement of the baddies is a little off-putting. But anyway, so obviously it's going to be most efficient to do this from the from the uh, top, go down. Uh oh, all right, Pepper, it is. Do they come back? Oh, they do eventually. Stay stunned for quite a while. I've got two peppers. Can you get more peppers is my next question. Whoops. Uh, piss. Oh, what's this? Yes, that is another... Looked like a gem from uh, Crash Bandicoot is what it looked like, but anyway. Look at me scoring like mad. I thought I might have just heard my doorbell. And it's like 9.30 at night, so... I don't know if I can pause this or not. Nope. I guess I'll just wait and see if it rings again. <laughs> That's the game. Okay. Because of the fact that I thought I just heard a doorbell, I am going to uh, pause this video. I'll be right back. And I have returned. My shirt says, sorry. I, well, I can't get this right. Sorry. <laughs> it's backwards on my screen. But it also says, uh, sorry I'm late. And the rest of it says, I didn't want to come. Um, it's for a workout place that I go to. It's, uh, I don't know, humorous. Anyway, it's a darn good thing I went and checked on the doorbell because there was somebody at the door, and it was, in fact, my neighbor, Barb. Thank you, Barb. Barb wanted to tell me that there was a light on in my car, and so had I not noticed, which I certainly would not have noticed because I'm not in the habit of checking my car sitting on the driveway before I go to bed, um, and, uh, my battery would have been dead by morning, but it was okay. It's only been there for, I don't know, maybe two, two and a half hours. So I fired it up, let it run for a few minutes, and, uh, now I am back. And I wish to play another game of Mr. Wimpy. And in order to do that, I need to, uh, let's get back over to the emulator screen, or the FPGA hardware screen here, and play again. Now... Now that I know, the only thing you really have to worry about is those gold rings. And the rest of it is just kind of an annoyance. Um, I should be able to not die... For crying out loud. I should be able to not die on this screen. Just how long it's going to take me to uh, get all of the ingredients back over. Now, I wasn't smart enough to look at that before I picked it up. So I'm not sure if that's meant to be what that's meant to be. Anyway, let's see if I can't manage a bit of a bonus here. What are the chances, do you think? Can I? you got to be reasonably proficient at dodging Bluey in order to get a bonus. No, I feel like I am getting more proficient, or maybe I just got lucky that time. So I got a bonus. 790 points. No, 400 points, pardon me. Sound effects are sparse. Let's just put it that way. Now we traverse... Oh, no, we don't traverse the top. We traverse the middle. And then we try for the top. Oh. Oh wait, no, you can't drop them. Never mind. 
Never mind. What I was trying to do was drop the spoon. He looks a bit odd. Anyway, <coughs> yeah, spoon with legs, I guess, and a sausage with legs. Oh, jeez. Ah, oh, yeah, the random movement. Not my favorite thing. By any stretch. So I was hoping to maybe get to level three, but uh, <coughs> with this kind of crappy ass performance, I'm not going to get to level three. So let's see if I can manage that. Oh, did I man did I eliminate the sausage for good? Seems like I might have. Come on, spoon, let me crush you. No, no, you're not going to play that game. So there's hamburger patty, red. Uh, whoops, damn it. I'm not sure what the purple thing is meant to be. Ingredient wise. And um, cheese, obviously, and bread. Do your peppers reset per level, or do you just get some back, I wonder? Fortunately for me, I... What? How? I'm sorry, how did that not get the spoon? That I don't understand. <sighs> Shit. Oh, I'm, out of, I'm out of pepper? No. Oh, there's a pepper on the screen just lingering there. <laughs> wow, I am really good at Mr. Wimpy. Why would I need to choose my interface every single time? My controller interface. Seems a little odd. Once you choose it in any given play session, you would think that would be that. Oh, see, I don't like that when you're standing in your little pocket and... Bluey there can come and steal your ingredient. So it's not cheese, and it's not... I don't know what it's meant to be. A sausage round, maybe? A slice of ham? Maybe a slice of ham. Oh, shit. Whew! Okay, so Bluey has to tackle you, not the ingredient. So that's important to understand as well. If you're trying to protect the ingredients. And finally, fromage, as they say in France. Ta-da! All right. Now we're talking. Will they reappear, or am I, like, golden for this level? Oh, oh. Uh, Spoonie reappears. But then I crush him once again. Like the stupid cutlery bug that he is. He's going to respawn right when I get on top of him, isn't he? Yep. Okay. Go up. Go up the ladder, dumbass. Come on, you can do it. No? Okay. All right. Well, I think the good news is I did not perish. The purple things look a lot like grapes for some reason. Whoa. Shite. Shiza. Okay. Hey, that worked out well. Let's go up, shall we? Okay, that's not quite what I wanted to do, but I'll take it. It's prioritized. What the hell? There was a red... Jesus, there was a red spot. How did a red spot kill me? Sorry, but that's ridiculous. I feel like that was leftover pepper, maybe? maybe. But for that to kill me is uh, just ridiculous. Oh. Uh, 
coffee mug, that would have been a new, an extra pepper, which would have been nice. Super good, super good. This is going well. I would like to see level three, but if I, oh, I have pepper back, so that's good. I pressed my bouton and nothing happened. I did not dodge the sausage and therefore I died. <sighs> All right, I'm not sure that I want to see level three that badly. I, you know what? I mean, the game's fine. The game's okay. It's not, uh, it's got some oddities compared with the arcade version or the majority of home versions, I guess, but uh, it's not terrible. It's fun. Fun. Uh, bugger. Reasonably fun. I feel like there's some things that could be improved um, with regard to the enemy movement in particular. And maybe the way the peppers work. Also being able to drop enemies on the ingredients when they're standing on them when you drop them would be would be quite nice. Oh, thanks for nothing. Thanks for nothing, Bluey. Bluey Kablooey, who I don't have to dodge on the way back. Because you're not going to hurt me. You're just going to steal the ingredients or my tray like that. Thanks. Thanks, dude. Do I have like a... Am I like a Red Cross volunteer looks like my hat has a red has a cross on it perfect thanks blue blue are you gonna give me a clue blue oh just don't die that's the main thing right All right, I got my banana slice, and I'm back to back to the to the left for no bonus whatsoever. Oh, and you get a, a new bonus count. That it's quite nice of them. Oh, thanks for nothing, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, come on, you can do it. Let's get the cheese back to the other side, shall we? There we go. They seem to gravitate towards you a little bit, but they move back and forth randomly, which is very odd. Changing directions sometimes. And then there's a the whole red dot of death thing, which was kind of annoying. Stay away, spoon. I do not wish to engage with you or waste a pepper. Oh, jeez. Dum, dum, da dum, dum, dum. I wanted to go left. I try. Oh, sh shoot. Okay. I guess maybe hiding at the bottom isn't the worst strategy in the world. Hmm. Monsieur Sausage is hot on my heels now. What the? I didn't see that spot. I, I feel like it was black, to be honest, but anyway. All right, little buggy. Little buggy, not terrible. The bugs, the bugs don't make it a great experience, unfortunately. Uh, let's get back to my screen where I can actually control things. I'm sweating. I guess it's pretty warm outside today. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh. I think that's going to do it for my look at uh, Mr. Wimpy on the ZX Spectrum. Thanks for watching. You take good care of yourselves. Watch Steve's channel. Subscribe to Steve's channel.
and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.